Well, while we are pulling out our sweaters for fall, meteorologists are already looking ahead to a lot chillier stuff. The winter forecast. Yes, Brittany Van Voorhees here talking about that and sharing the latest insights from NOAA. Brittany. Yeah, so NOAA puts out these winter outlooks every single year. And you, I feel like we focus a lot more on the winter outlook often, but they do do it for fall, spring, and summer as well. So, so far, NOAA's winter outlook looks at a wetter and warmer than average winter here in the Charlotte area. Now, of course, this is because of a really strong uh, jet stream that's dipped a little bit further south here during the winter months, which really amplifies the storm track. And then, of course, warmer than normal conditions because of that warmer air coming in with that southerly and southeasterly flow, which often happens when we get these storms at the same time. Now it's important to remember that even though the trend for the three month period is warmer and wetter, that doesn't mean we can't see a cold spell. That doesn't mean we can't see a dry period. And in fact, the wetter the normal conditions will likely help with the drought situation as currently one third of the country, including portions of the Carolinas are currently under drought conditions. Now this is largely due to the El Nino event that we've had going on. This is part of the El Nino Southern Oscillation. It's a climate pattern when there are warmer than normal ocean waters in the Pacific Ocean. Again, it amplifies that jet stream, allowing for wetter weather, sometimes cooler weather for the southern portion here of the Deep South. And again, at this point for the official forecast that is calling for a warmer than normal winter uh, expected to be here. So you can kind of see that here. This is a normal El Nino pattern. Um, I think it's important to note that when it comes to snowfall forecast, Brad, uh, those cannot be made months and months in advance. Yeah. It's more of a short term forecast. And we're going to be, of course, talking more about that as we get closer to meteorological winter. Yeah, and uh, it will have my official winter outlook coming up here in about two weeks or so. 